So um, this is going to be a bit of a shorter video. I just kind of want to uh, talk about something that happened to me. Uh, this seems to be a thing that happened today on August 12, 2020. It seems that on Steam, uh, a band wave happened, uh, like a VAC band wave. And if you don't know what a VAC band is, it's essentially um, for Steam, any Valve game, if you are caught cheating on that by VAC, which is their anti-cheat, you will be permanently banned from all Valve games and your Steam account will have a big flag that says, guess what, I cheated on, on Steam. I, I, I broke the rules, basically. And it does deserve to be in place. There, does, there should be an anti-cheat system however the problem is is that vac and understandably so i guess because i think the idea for this is because they want it to seem very scary like you don't want a vac ban not that you'd want one in the first place but they're not negotiable so no matter no matter what you do no matter how much you try you can't negotiate with valve support to get it removed it's it's stuck to your account forever now the problem with that is that if you are inaccurately or unfairly banned, you just have to hope that they realize that and they fix it. Because today, I was unfairly banned over something that I never did. So I haven't touched Counter-Strike in months, and I understand that with the way VAC works, when you are detected to have cheats on your system, it can take weeks, days, or maybe even months, I guess, for the ban to be correctly applied. However, never, Ever did I use cheats on Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I never used cheats on any account. Not my main. I never made a second account to cheat on. I never did that. And to make it even worse, I actually spent a decent amount of money on Counter-Strike, like on the Steam market, you know, for skins and things like that. Because that's what you do on Counter-Strike. You know, it's a free-to-play game now. You know, skins and stickers and all that are kind of like the lifeblood of it. And... Plus, I also have Prime status because I bought this game when it was actually for sale before it went free to play. So it doesn't really make sense why I would cheat on my main CSGO account, even though I don't really play... No, I'm not really... I don't play Counter-Strike anymore, but for some reason, I guess... Well, I, it's a system, so it doesn't detect logic, but I think before issuing something like this that can really detriment someone's account, like, it really... You, get, you lose quite a decent amount of features with VAC ban, yeah, someone should at least do maybe a review, and if someone did do a review, then they did a terrible job, because there's no, it doesn't make sense why I would cheat on my main account with Prime status, but whatever, I guess logic does not apply to the VAC team, so. So yeah, um, if you don't know what this means for me, uh, because I was inaccurately and unfairly VAC banned over something I did not do, and I'm, I don't know, I'm just giving you my word, my totally honest word. I would tell you if I cheated. I did not cheat at all on Counter-Strike or any other Valve game or any other VAC secured game. So what that means is that for all VAC secured servers, I cannot play. I cannot play the game. I also can't trade. For some reason, I can't do a lot of, a lot of that stuff. It's, it's, and it's just like, really? Like, are you serious? And the reason why they're so harsh with their punishments for this, and because I don't actually know too much about VAC, I'm still learning more and more the more I research about it, but I get why it's so aggressive is because it's non-negotiable, you cheated, you shouldn't have cheated, and it's supposed to said as like a message of like, don't cheat or else, you know, there's no like warning, you're just gonna be immediately banned. But when it's ran and developed by humans, there's gonna be human error and now that I'm VAC banned, I face the same consequences both socially and from Valve themselves of what it's like to be VAC banned. I'm not a cheater and I'm just, I want to make that as clear as I can. I don't cheat on Valve games and this VAC ban was inaccurately applied. So yeah, um, thanks Valve. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks Gabe. I know, uh, you're involved in this, especially my account. Specifically, you did this to hurt my account because, you know, uh, you're Gabe Newell. But in all seriousness, I am kind of pissed off at this. And not kind of, I am very pissed off at this. And I am, uh, I've lost a lot of faith in Valve because it there's no, there's no way to really resolve this. You just got to kind of hope 
that Valve just gets their act together. And I don't see that happening anytime soon for my account. So yeah, this August ban wave, really, really accurate stuff. Uh, thanks, Valve. Thanks for, thanks for everything you've done. Uh, really appreciate it.